Good morning, docs. Only two more days left of school. Essay contest, band and orchestra awards, and more after the pledge. Please stand. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. If you were involved in band or orchestra at any point this year, you are invited to our band and orchestra award ceremony on Wednesday night at 6 o'clock in the cafeteria. It is a potluck dinner, so see Mr. Hutton for more details. And final call for any art students to get their work from Mr. Clark's room, please stop by to get your artwork or it will be thrown away. And I am excited to say that the United Way is sponsoring the summer food program this year. For more information, check out the hot dog chatter. But let's take a short break from the announcements and send it to sports and weather. What's up, dogs? The varsity golf team will be here at home for, at the Commons today for senior night. The meet begins at 4.30. Best of luck to them. In softball news, the Lady Hot Dog softball team will play in sectionals Tuesday night at 5.30 at Twin Lakes. Best of luck to them. And due to weather and convenience, the boys' baseball team weren't able to play at Danville on Friday. The game has been rescheduled for today, here at home, beginning at 6. Make sure you guys come out and support the dogs, as this is their last game before they take on Northwestern in a sectional matchup this Thursday. Anyways, that's all for me, dogs. Thank you guys for allowing me to be your sports guy over the past two years. Anyways, now let's end it to Garrick for your weather report. Thank you, Nelson. It has been a pleasure working with you this past year. And on that note, what's up, dogs? Coming into school today, it was a nice 60 degrees. And as the day continues around noon, we'll see temperatures rise into the mid-70s for a nice couple of hours. And as we head out of school, it will rise once again, hitting the high of the day at 79 degrees from 3 to 6 p.m. No rain is expected either, so go out and enjoy the sunny day while you can. And tomorrow, we'll see the high 50s as we walk into school again. And around lunchtime, the temperatures will manage to wake its make its way up into the high 70s and roll into the 80s for an even warmer day. The high of tomorrow is projected to be a nice and hot 83 degrees at 5 p.m. And into the night, temperatures will drop down into the mid-70s as the sun sets to wrap up another nice day. That's all for your weather report. Now, I'll send it back to your amazing hosts. Thanks, Garrick. For lunch today, lines one and two is a chicken snack wrap, line three is salad bar and potato soup, and line four is bread and mozzarella sticks. A special happy birthday goes out to Caitlin Barkley, Teresa Roman, and Emily Valdez. And now here's a video from Esmeralda Cruz on some information about the Raices essay contest. Hi, Frankfurt High School students. My name is Esmeralda Cruz, and on behalf of the organizing committee for the Raices Festival, formerly known as the Frankfurt Hispanic Heritage Festival, we would like to invite you to participate in the 2023 essay contest. This contest is sponsored by Lions Club, and we do have prizes. First place gets $200, second place, 100, and third place, $50. And now I'd like to introduce you to Areli Mendieta Santos, our 2022 essay contest winner. Hi, I encourage you to participate in this essay contest so your voice can be heard on a topic that is important to our community. By the way, this year we have two essay topics that you can choose from. A, in what ways do you see the stigma against minority populations continuing and what impact does it have? B, what does the phrase poder prieto, brown power, mean to you? The deadline is Wednesday, August 23rd by 5 p.m. And you can email your, your essay to Esmeralda Cruz. So we invite you to mark your calendars for Saturday, September 16th, 4 to 10.30 p.m. at Prairie Creek Park. And we look forward to receiving your essay submissions by August 23rd. Thank you. That's all for the announcements. Make sure you like and subscribe and we hope to see you tomorrow.